Hello and welcome back to Miss Chappas' classroom. Today we are looking at the Night Lab Tools storyline. So we're going to jump right in and start at the Night Lab homepage, nightlab.northwestern.edu. Once you're here, you can move and select projects. We're going to scroll down till we find the six projects that are right in front of us. And we're going to go to storyline today. So once you're in Storyline, you can see Storyline right at the top of your screen. You're going to go ahead and click the green button that says Make a Storyline. Once you're down here, you can follow these instructions to make your Storyline. What we're going to do first is we're going to create a Google Sheet. I've created mine and I've decided that we are going to do a Storyline on Russian World War II casualties. So I've already found all my data online and I've put them into the correct columns. The columns that you need are date or you can put year, month, anything like that. It's your decision what you title this but it should be your date column. Then you want your data points to be the second column whichever that is if you are using average temperature which is the example on Night Lab's homepage. In my case we're going to be using casualties, the number of casualties um, from the Russian army in World War II. So we have date and we have our data points. Then we need a title and a text column. So the title will be the just generic overall title of the box underneath. Then the text column is going to have a little bit more descriptive qualities. So right now I know that September 17th was the invasion of Poland. So we're going to go ahead and title our slide the invasion of Poland. If I want to define that a little bit more I'm just going to go through and say this is when Britain and France declared war on Germany. Now you are free to put as much or as little text as you like into that box and either way it'll work out just fine. So once you have everything in your spreadsheet that you want, meaning all of your columns are filled out, all of the text that you have is in there, we're going to go up to File, Publish to the Web, and we're going to start publishing the entire document. You're going to hit OK if your Google Drive prompts you to. And then from here you actually want to close out this tab, okay? So instead of selecting that URL, we're going to come up here and highlight the one that's in our browser. We're going to copy that and we're going to come back to the Storyline page, the Night Lab page, and we're going to paste that URL right here and we're going to click Load. So now we just have to tell the computer what columns are giving what information. So of course our date time information is our date column. And what's really important is that you make sure your dates are all formatted the same way. So for me, I chose to do it following this pattern. The year, month, day. These are all options that you can follow and it's up to you which way works best. But just make sure they're all the same. So you go ahead and select whichever way you formatted your dates. Then you come over and decide which one is your data. For us, that's casualties. And we just want that label to be casualties. I like mine to be capitalized. The title cards should say title and the text should say text. You can choose how you want your date displayed in the timeline. For me, I think I want it displayed this way instead of just like this. So once we've got all of these pieces of information correct, now we can go ahead, hit create storyline. This is just a really small preview of our full storyline. So I'm going to go ahead and let me make sure I've copied the whole link. I'm going to copy that and paste it into my browser. Now this is the full thing. So we get to see the one that we just filled out was the invasion of Poland, which is right here. So that's where that point is on the graph. And then we can learn a little bit more about what that point is telling us. I hope this was helpful and I hope you have a great time storylining.